in the last two videos, you heard all about what to do if you've got uh, sh shortness of breath, you've got a shaky voice, and you forget what you were going to say. Today, let's talk about technology. In the year 2020, the world has been forced to go online with their presentations. That doesn't mean we're not gonna be back in front of people though. And when we do get back to full live presentations, we're still going to use technology. It has become a much more important aspect of our presentations and is here to stay. How can you avoid having technology problems? Number one, you can't. Technology problems are inevitable, they will happen. The first tip is just accept that problems will happen and you can't predict what they will be. It may be that your lights go out. Maybe you have camera problems. I have a camera on top of my screen right now. It may go out. Yeah, I'm recording this so I can always adjust, but when it happens live, you've got to have a backup plan. So just accept all that. Number two is when technology issues do occur, you have to know your material so well and you have to practice with your technology so much that it's not a big deal. You've got to push through it. The audience, they're forgiving, but they're only gonna be forgiving so long. They're highly distractible today. So when it happens, just push through it. Go old school if you have to. You can only go old school so much with technology online, I get that. But just throw out all the PowerPoint slides you had presented, the audio, all that backup material, and just go straight like what I'm doing now. Talk to the camera and just have a dialogue with your audience. Number three, and you've already heard this, but it bears repeating, is practice, practice, practice with your technology. I'm a big fan of Zoom at the time I'm recording this. I know Zoom fairly well. I know what buttons to push. I know what to turn off and go old school, as I said before, if, if things go wrong. I know how to go to a backup camera. I know how to go to a backup platform if the worst happens. But you've got to practice over and over to transition between slides, pull up video, use audio. If you don't do that, it's going to look and feel clunky and the audience is going to detect that. Uh, if you're presenting, they expect you to, at the very least, know the basics about the technology you're using. Point number four is one of my favorites, and this is whether you're online or especially in live presentations, practice as if. Every piece of technology you have is going out, the lights are going to go out, all you have available to light the room are the flashlights on the cell phones of your audience. Unless the meeting planner steps in and says, all right, we got to stop now. You want to stand out from the crowd? Do that. Let people know you're so confident in your material and you've rehearsed so much and you're so good at this that I'll stand up here and speak in the dark <laughs> with a little bit of flashlight. Um, I've never had that happen. It's rare that it will happen, but always prepare. Know your material, know that script so that if you can't show slides, if you can't use your videos, all the fancy backup that you had to enhance that message, the message should stand on its own. Probably the most important tip in this video is to not overwhelm yourself with technology. If you're just getting used to online presenting, for example, don't try to adopt five new techniques. Just do one, maybe two at a time. But one of the biggest issues people face when COVID forced everyone inside and we had to go to online presenting, so many people struggle with looking at the camera. We were all raised on some type of device. For my generation, it was TV. For my son, it was computer or mobile devices. And we're used to looking at screens, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm not making eye contact with you and I'm disconnecting from you because of that. Just getting used to the camera took me probably 100 to 150 online presentations where I didn't have to uh, catch myself looking down here over there at another screen. It takes a long time to break that habit. Now, if I was trying to do that and learn how to uh, pop up videos and get real fancy with graphics and show all this other stuff, it was too much. So adopt one piece at a time. And it's okay to let the audience know if you're doing online. Hey, I'm fairly new at this, so I'm going to make some mistakes, but we're going to keep pushing through. That sets them up to let them know, hey, I'm not trying to be perfect here. I just want to give you value. So take these five tips with your technology, utilize those, and technology won't be as big a concern, and you'll be able to use it to enhance your presentation instead of take away from it.